walk into most schools and you'll find an equal number of boys and girls. But some experts suggest it may be time for a change. Mike Shue reports one charter school in Baltimore is seeing success by being girls only. In the heart of downtown, an experiment in education is underway. It doesn't take long for you to realize something looks different here. Flip over to question two on page 27, please. What do you see? What's missing? There are no boys here. It's a girls only school. And the girls like to think of themselves as a sisterhood, and we like them to think of that too. Briacia has been part of the sisterhood for the past seven years. Growing up in an environment environment with all the same girls and being, you feel comfortable in here. That comfort level might be why some studies show that single sex schools the, perform better. That appears to be the, the case here at the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. 100% of their girls graduate, 100% get accepted to college, 98% attend, and the others get vocational training. The end result of each student developing a personal success plan. We found that because they've taken ownership of it and they see that we fully support success plans, we found that they are successful. Which was not the case for some when they arrived here in the sixth grade. Some of them are, a good many of them, are three grades behind where they ought to be. Those who run this school can tell you all of the reasons why it's working, and there are a lot of them, but the bottom line is the 547 young women who go here are expected to do well and are given the tools and motivation to do so. The girls are the key. The girls are the important part of our school. I'm actually reporting for WJZ.